We are back at ESM Studios. I want recently this S23 Ultra got updated to Android 14, one UI 6.0. And these are my five favorite features of this new version of Android for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. All right, let's go. My first favorite feature is background play of videos you can circumvent and uh you know on youtube you if in, to enable background play meaning when you go into a video you turn the screen off or you go so you swipe away while you're playing a video and you go into another app well unless you have a youtube premium which we do but those of you that don't you cannot listen to the video while you go into another app or you close or you uh, simply go to the home screen or turn off your display stick it in your pocket the video will stop if you do not have youtube premium here is a way around it very very cool feature now it requires you to use uh, samsung browser let me see if i can go to my samsung browser there we go now if you go to YouTube, right, um, I'm going to play this video and, oh, first, time out, time out, time out. Open up Sam's, the Samsung browser make sure it's updated. Now, here's what you want to do. Before you do anything, go to your uh, Galaxy store right here. Make sure, hit the menu, and make sure all your apps are updated. Now, as long as all your apps are updated and the device is updated, all your uh, uh, Play Store apps are updated, You'll be good to go. So, go to Samsung browser. Now, three dot uh, three line menu, and you want to go to. I never use the Samsung browser. I always use Chrome, but Samsung browser has a ton of cool features. I was just going through. Go to settings, and where are we? Let's see. Useful features. Go to useful features, and what do you know? background play now this will play any video in the background not just youtube maybe there's a website uh, whatever it will play any any video in the background now you can you can have these a uh, couple of different options some websites don't support background play but most of them do so it says background play keep playing video sound after you leave a tab or samsung internet you have the option to turn it on, or you have the option on, uh, only on when headphones or, or when you're basically connected to headphones or external speakers. I'm going to turn it always on, right? <clears throat> so let's go back and let's go back. Let's go back. Now, I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I'm going to play it real quick and then off this uh make sure the volume is up because i will get a copyright strike. i do have my earbuds connected so let me do this let me turn off my earbuds okay so i'm gonna hang it off to the side and i'm gonna uh you can barely see it right so we're gonna play it so turn it all the way up if you have an hour this week you can learn a well, it does have ads. Because look, I'm not signed in. Uh, I'm not signed in to this. So I have premium, but I'm not signed in to the YouTube in Samsung browser, right? So let's see if it'll play even during with an ad. You can learn a hundred songs on the piano by learning just four chords. These... What do you know? It's still playing. Check Hear that? And can you feel the love tonight? Still playing. You will get the. You can take those same four chords and. You will get the um, auto back play. Now, that's my second. You'll get the pull down menu. That's my second favorite thing about One UI 6.0. Is this really, really cool? So if you go to music and let's turn it down so I don't get a flag. 
we're going to play this, right? So it's playing right now. Now watch. This is my second favorite feature. With It is so cool. Watch. So we're playing uh, uh, Dumb and Dumber from Dolph and, and Glock. Watch. See that? That is so cool. That was not on uh, previous versions. So that was my second favorite feature. Kind of first feature kind of rolls into the second. All right, let's get into the third. And by the way, this pull down notification here that gives you background play, what's playing in the background with the music and the graphics, that's automatic. You do not have to activate that. That is automatic. It comes on as soon as you uh, play something. Getting into my third favorite thing about the Samsung One UI 6.0 update is the Studio Video Editor. Yes, finally. You could, in the past, you could go to the gallery and you could kind of edit videos, right? You could kind of open in video player and then hit edit and it would just have really really super basic controls well now now this is pre-installed i did not have to install this it went as soon as i updated my s23 ultra i was like whoa what the hell is this it was automatically installed it's called studio video editor and it helps you edit if you're a content creator whether it's youtube instagram twitter anything or you just messing around making a video and sending it to your sister this is very cool and very easy, might I add. So you don't have to go download. Very basic, but you don't have to go download a third-party app if you don't want to. If you just want to lightly edit videos, this will do it. So you choose a movie, my movie, and then you can simply hit edit. And I was just messing around with, you can throw in clips, you can throw in uh uh background stuff like that like stickers and there's my gash on my forehead that i have you can simply edit and uh let's see i want to start a new one done let's go back start a new project and you can simply select uh, this one this one this one this one this one, this one, this one, done. You can choose pictures and videos. It throws it together for you. Now, if you want to rearrange them, what you can do is, and you can also pinch to zoom, just like on any other video editor. Press and hold it. And then you can move the positions of where it's it's located in your timeline, in your line of, uh, of uh, videos. Now, you can also add music down here, soundtracks, what have you. You can also add your own music with the button, whatever MP3 you have in the arsenal. You can throw that in there. Now, that was down here where the music is. To get stock music that is that is copyright free, like if you want to upload this on YouTube and don't want to worry about a copyright strike, hit that button right there. This gives you this is all copyright free music, so you don't have to worry about getting a strike or anything on YouTube. Down here, you know, and use at your own risk. <clears throat> now, you can create. I had made a sticker, so I can simply add that. You can make it bigger. And you can, I can put myself right there in the middle. And you can also, down here on the timeline, you can choose when you want it to pop up. So this is a very basic, but um, it does have all the rich features of basic video editing, right? You're not going to get the super looking cool looking transitions. You're not going to get the chroma um, effect or um, cinematic mode, all that you could probably have to do on CapCut or uh any other video editing feature but you can simply choose the timing when you want it to pop up boom 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 or if you want to move it over or extend it or if you want to move it at the very beginning just press and hold it and then move it to the very beginning and then boom now you can select that and they do have basic transitions um but not not nothing like super intensive so I hit the dissolve, 
like that. So very cool. You can add text in here as well. You got your basic text features. What else? Let's go. Do, 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 do. Um, so, and you can also add stuff from here, a blank clip or a video or image. And what else? And that will play it um, on a full screen. So that was my third favorite feature. Let's get into four. Now, my fourth favorite feature of One UI 6.0 is lock screen customizations. Yes, you can customize your lock screen now. And to do that is, well, you can, and they have more features. You could always customize it, but now it's more robust. Simply go to your settings page and type in lock screen. And simply, and you can hit right here. And now you have, here's all your lock screen features, right? You can, see, you can extend, unlock, secure lock settings. But here is where you can customize your lock screen with different widgets. Today's schedule, next alarm, Galaxy Buds 2 Manager. Yes, do I have 2 or three, or 2 Pro? I have 2 in. Okay, so we'll add both because I use both of those. Your routines. Go, Galaxy Buds Live Manager, don't have live. Smart Things, Voice Recorder, Digital Wellbeing, I don't need. Voice Recorder is cool. Smart Things, I do have that, but um, yeah, I may set it up just to see what it looks like. So you can also reorder them, right? So let's go back. Now, you can customize this with a certain message. You can have this. Um, icon only details you can also make it 100% transparent or you can make it uh, solid color wallpapers um, let's do this one so we got that on there dumb and dumber album cover that looks cool now let's go here let me change up the font. Now, I want it to be a different color. The white didn't really come through. Let's do that. Make it cartoon-like. Change the color. Let's do our own color. Uh, I want it black. No. Let's do it bright red. There we go. There we go. Now you can see it better. Matches the theme. Okay, and then you can change those as well. If you want to do a voice recorder for your voice notes, I got mine set for flashlight. However, I do need to switch it. I don't have camera because you always double tap on the power button. I would like to add, let's see, this one. I don't need admin. Let's put in, um, shit, I don't know. Uh, anyways, you can, um, Let's just throw in voice recorder. So you got your flashlight, your voice recorder, and camera opening and video recorder, uh, video camera open app with double pressing the power button. Change the wallpapers, change this. What is this? Oh, you can change the, the look of the wallpaper just to give it a little different look and feel. We'll do the original. Okay, now my fifth favorite feature is the ability to create a sticker. Now I know, a custom sticker, now I know uh, One UI 5, you could create a sticker, but now you can take that, you don't need a third-party app, you can take that sticker you make and add it to another photo from within Samsung Gallery. So let's go to my camera. Let's choose a picture here. So what you're gonna do is long press it. And then you get options. You can copy that and paste it somewhere else. You can share it to somebody else or another device. You can save as a sticker, which we are gonna do, and save as an image. Now, when you save it as an image, it's gonna be just me holding that. It's gonna be just what's in focus, right? So there will not be any background. 
it'll basically save the sticker with no background, right? So we're going to save as a sticker. So we saved that as a sticker, correct? Okay. So let's add it into another photo. Let's find... Do I have something cool? Yeah, let's add it in there. So just take a regular photo you have. And what you're going to do is go to the edit button down here. And then simply go to your stickers right here, or decorations, I guess it is. And you see where it says stickers? Simply click that. And gallery, and then there I am. <laughs> now you can make it bigger, and it tells you when it's lined up. Sometimes it's very sensitive. Now what you can do is you can swap it that way to this way. You can copy it and have two or you can delete that and it will cover whatever is in the background and make it the foreground and put it in there just like that and then hit save Boom. Looks like I'm popping up uh, a photo bombing myself. So that's really, really cool option. Um, and you can do all that within the Samsung gallery. No need to down. Because again, in the past, you could save the sticker. Um, but you'd ha you would have to have a third party app to add it back into a photo. But now, all within the Samsung gallery app, you can add it yourself. And uh, that's my five favorite features of One UI 6.0 on Android 14 for Samsung Galaxy S23 series. All these features will work on the S23 series. Not just the Ultra, but it'll work for the S23 Plus and the S23. So um, if you've got any questions or if I missed any feature you think that is better than mine, please let me know. Or if you have a whole new set of favorite uh, features in One UI 6.0, please let me know in the comments. I check those every day. I do appreciate your time. Thank you very much, and we will get back to you shortly. Peace out.